Hello, welcome to lesson 23, Method Overloading in C-Sharp, brought to you by Ankh Pro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we'll learn what is method overloading. Right now, we'll jump into the slide where it is explained. Function overloading and method overloading are used interchangeably. It means both are same. That is function overloading and method overloading both are same. And use of method overloading. See, method overloading allows class to have multiple methods with the same name but with a different signature. And in C sharp, methods can be overloaded based on three kinds, three types. That is based on number of parameters and type of parameters and the kind of parameters. Right now, we'll jump into Visual Studio and explore them. First, we'll see how a method can be overloaded based on number of parameters. To understand it very clearly, we'll jump into Visual Studio. Here is a console template where we'll see the demo of method overloading. First, to understand how a method can be overloaded based on number of parameters, what we'll do, we'll fire up Visual Studio. Here, I'll create two methods and I'll pass the parameters to each of them and then we'll see how the method can be overloaded based on the number of parameters. To do that, I'll create two methods, two add methods. The method name is had and similarly, I'll create another method with the same name. Okay. Now we'll jump back into visual uh, presentation here. What is method overloading? Method, lo method overloading allows class to have multiple methods with the same name but with a different signature. Now we'll see in Visual Studio, yes, there are two methods with the same name but the signature of the method should differ. How to do that? It's very simple. Now we'll see how a method can be overloaded based on the number of parameters. It's very simple. In the first method, I'll pass two parameters. In the second method, I'll pass here I'm having two parameters, so I will take three parameters, three parameters here. Number three, here I'll pass num one, comma, num two, and num three. Now when I do this, when I build the program, when I'll press Control Shift B to build the program. Now you can observe it failed. Why? Because the type program already finds a member called add with the same parameters. It means that you can't overload a method with the same parameter. Now what I'll do, I'll just reduce one of the parameter. Now you can see when I build it, the build went succeed build succeeded. It because method can be overloaded based on number of parameters, but keep in mind the number of parameters should vary in the method. That's what the presentation we saw, a method can be overloaded based on the number of parameters. That's it. And what I'll do, I'll just call this method, add method in the main method. What I'll do, see, you can see, sorry, I can't call this. Why? Because I want to make this method a static. Since the calling method is also static, I have to make the call calling method also static. Since I'm calling add method in the main method, I have to make the rest of the methods as static. So I added the keyword static to each of the methods. Now what I'll do, I'll just call this method. You can see two variations of add here. One variation of add takes two parameters and other variation of add takes three, takes three parameters. This is how you can overload a method based on number of parameters. Okay, now I'll just erase these things out. We'll jump back into presentation here we'll see the second point that is types of parameters how to overload a method based on types of parameters now we'll see it in Visual Studio now I'm having two methods had what I'll do is not to vary how a method can be overloaded based on type of parameters what I'll do for the I'm having two methods here in one method I'm having I'm taking all the integer types that is int data type I'm using here here I'll use float float num1 comma float num2 now you can observe the method can be overloaded based on the type of the method names are same but the types of parameters you pass into the method method differs and we'll come to the conclusion that when i call method add here you can observe it will show two variations one variation is taking the float type 
parameters and other variations taking the in type parameters this is how we'll come to the conclusion that a, a method can be overloaded based on the type of parameters also now finally we'll see the kind of parameters the kind of parameters are value ref or out what is this value or ref or out in the previous session uh, based uh, we discussed about the types of methods there we saw how to how to there we saw a category which will use ref and out please refer to the please refer to that video in order to understand what is this call by value and call by reference now we'll see how a method can be overloaded based on the kind of parameters right now we'll jump into visual studio here what i'll do i'll just erase these things out now I'll list these things also and what I'll do is I'll take int num1 comma int num2 and I'll take int uh, num num3 okay now we'll see how to overload a method based on the kind of parameter kind of parameter includes value call by value value type or a reference type that is ref or out now in visual studio i'll show using out keyword how to do that it's very simple now what i'll do i'll use out keyword and specific uh, what i'll do i'll just store, store the sum of num1 and num2 in this out key out variable how to do that it's very simple i'll create a variable called sum and here i'll call that sum and i'll store the values in it num1 plus num2 and what I'll do, I'll just print this. Sorry, I had to use CW and tab it twice. Now, what I'll do, I'll just print that sum. Now, in the calling method, you can see. Now, before that, we'll see, we'll explore these two methods. These two methods are having the same signature. Signature in the sense, the method name should be same, and the type number of parameters is also same, and the thing here varying is the kind of parameter the kind of parameters is out you can observe here the kind of parameters we are using in this code is out so signature of the method matches here both of them are matching and what I'll do when I call this method add you can observe it's doing two variations where one variation is having three integer type data types and also other one is also having integer type but it is using a out parameter what to do now if I want to add those what I'll do I just come pass out and I'll pass some variable but it's throwing me error how to resolve it how to initialize this variable before calling it so I'll initialize int sum is equal to 0 and once I've done with that the rest quickly gone when I run this program when I run this program control F5 it just print 30 on the console window this is how We'll come to the conclusion that a method can be overloaded based on the number of parameters, type of parameters and the kind of parameters.